Tov. We continue our journey through the Amida, the series of blessings that form the heart of our service. We've talked about the first three. All of them focus on praise, avot and imahot for our ancestors, gevurot for God's reviving power in the world, and kedusha, which is about holiness and connection. These three blessings always open the Amida, morning, afternoon, evening, weekdays, Shabbat, holidays, they are constant. The final three blessings of the Amida, which we'll get to down the road, are also more or less the same all the time. And they focus on thanks, but what comes in the middle between the opening three and the closing three varies a great deal. On Shabbat and holidays, we have just one blessing in the middle, marking the holiday. But on weekdays, we get 13 short intermediary blessings, uh, each of which is a petition of sorts. They're asking for different things. So we're going to start working through these today. And the first one is for knowledge. We say, You graciously favor humanity with knowledge and teach us understanding. Favor us with knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Blessed are you, Holy One, who grants us knowledge, graces us with knowledge. So a few things, a couple things to note. First, uh, with this blessing and all the rest of the petitionary blessings to come, something important to remember. Originally, the subjects were set and the order in which one dealt with them were set. So early, early on, the first of these intermediary blessings was to deal with, with knowledge. But... Uh, in Talmudic times, for the most part, uh, the theme was given, but the individual who was praying tailored that theme to their own situation. There's a passage in Pirkei Avot, in the wisdom or the ethics of our ancestors, that says, don't make your Amida, your, your prayers in your Amida, don't let them be fixed. Let them be instead a kind of heartfelt plea for mercy. But over time, they did become fixed. This is kind of the story of Jewish liturgy. Somebody introduces something beautiful that's spontaneous or that they work to create for them, and next thing you know, it becomes part of the liturgy. And that happens even more uh, after printing is invented, at which point uh, various different approaches uh, are weighed and the printer chooses which text to print and that becomes canonical. Uh, but originally, remember, uh, again, we were just told, okay, here's, this blessing is going to be about knowledge and you have to take it and you have to make it yours. And I think while the, the print, while the text we now have can be very helpful and we need uh, keva, we need fix things too, uh, it's important for us to, to put our own hearts and our own experiences and our own intentions into the prayer. Now, this first one about knowledge speaks of three different ways of knowing. Dea, Bina, and Sechel. Dea is factual information. This is the stuff you can 
bring up uh, on Google or, or ask Alexa. She'll give you Dea. Bina uh, is discernment, the ability to make fine distinctions uh, between one thing and another, between uh, one opinion and another, uh, to look carefully and see uh, small things that matter. And Sechel, uh, I would translate as, as wisdom which is to say, this is the hard earned knowledge uh, that's really only gained through experience. You can't get Sechel through books. Uh, you have to read the books, but then it's when you take what you learn in the books and put it to work for you out in the world and you make mistakes and you learn from them, uh, that, that is Sechel. So reflect as we give thanks this morning, uh, for knowledge, for the ability to know in different ways. Uh, how do you best come to know things in the world? How do you best come to know other people? How do you best come to know yourself? What kind of knowledge or way of knowing helps here? What way of knowing gives you strength? What kind of knowledge inspires you? And what do you think is the most important area to explore uh, with your sechel, with your, with your hardened wisdom. You favor us with knowledge and you teach us understanding, give us Knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Blessed are you, Holy One, who graces us with knowledge. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad May your day bring knowledge, knowing in, in the best ways that fill your head, but also enrich your heart and your spirit and move you to do good work in the world. Uh, join us for Talmud at noon today, uh, Shiva for uh, Malka Mikaleva uh, at 6.30 this evening, uh, and see your, see your Kabi E blast for other things, lots going on. Booker Tov, have a good day. Mm -hmm.